has been some rumors. And apparently, Chris Drury and the New York Rangers are interested in Montreal's R. Turkey Lekkonen. There's even some speculation that Jeff Gordon and Chris Drury may have already had a conversation or two about sending Turkey to the Rangers already. Gordon has only been in town for a few weeks now, and he's already on the phone with his old organization trying to sell turkeys. Who would have seen that coming? So, in today's video, we're going to break down the rumor. We're going to talk about how much value our turkey possibly has right now. We'll break down the whole situation and see what we got here. But first, before we begin, if you're a fan of the Habs or just selling turkeys, then please consider subscribing to my channel as I upload a ton of hockey content and would really enjoy having some more you grasshoppers tag along for the ride. All right, you little grasshoppers, here's what we got. Here's the scoop. Sources told The Athletic that Chris Drury and Jeff Gordon have been in contact with regards to our turkey legging it. That's right. Chris Drury is just cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs about this guy. The article goes on to say that Lekkonen is not just somebody the Rangers would want right now, but rather somebody that they would want on their team for the long haul. They've got this guy named Sammy. He was originally this kind of guy in their lineup, but now he's all banged up and he's got a torn ACL. And they consider Lekkonen a better all-around player than Sammy Blaze. And this is exactly why they want Lekkonen services. So, there's that. Let's just go ahead and throw this news article back behind the toilet with the rest of them. And let's take a deeper look at our precious little Thanksgiving turkey. Now you might be wondering, why on earth would a team be interested in Lekkonen? Well, I'm going to tell you why. He's a perfect bottom six winger. That's why. He's reliable at his own end of the rink. He kills penalties. He chips in the odd goal. He's young. He seems pretty durable. You can throw him anywhere in the lineup when you really need him. And you don't have to worry about a dump truck full of pucks in the back of your net. He makes a respectable $2.3 million this season. And once the season is over, he becomes a restricted free agent, which is also just pure convenience in the eyes of other teams like the New York Rangers. And here are the Rangers' current group of forwards. Compliments to DailyFaceOff.com. Minus Alexei Lafreniere, of course. As you can see, our turkey would definitely provide some better dip to their bottom six than these dweebs. And to be honest, the Rangers are not going to be the only team that comes knocking, looking for our Terry Lekkonen. There's going to be a lot more interest in Lek than we probably all give him credit for. So far this year, he's got 12 points in 33 games at the time of making this video. And when compared to the rest of Montreal's forwards, this ain't actually too bad at all. It's kind of sad. Lekkonen is only 7 points away from being the point leader for the Canadians right now. Whoa! Jeez! Now, as for what kind of a return Lekkonen could possibly bring back, well, that all depends on if the plan is just to send Lekkonen over there all by his lonesome self. There has been other rumors over the past several weeks that the Rangers are also interested in a guy like Ben Sherratt. There's been rumors about them being interested in Tyler Toffoli. But hey, you can't have them all, Rangers. Jeez, this team wants everybody all of a sudden. If it is a package deal like Lekkonen and Sherratt, for example, I assume that the Rangers would have to try and move some money the other way to Montreal. After all, they've got some pretty big contracts about to kick in just next year. Like Mika Zibanejad is about to make a lot more money. Adam Fox is about to get like a $9 million pay raise next season. So all this stuff is going to have to be taken into consideration. However, if it is just Arturi Lekkonen by himself, I'm pretty confident that Lekkonen could fetch at least a second round pick and maybe a prospect. I'm trying not to overvalue our players at the deadline, but yeah, I like to think that he's at least worth a second round pick and a prospect. And who knows, with Jeff Gordon already knowing the New York Rangers organization as well as he does, maybe he's got some feelings about a few of his former draft picks over there. Maybe there's a dark horse or somebody that he's confident can become a top six player one day that he's going to try and snatch up with a lasso. And the more and more that I look at the Rangers cap situation right now, the more I think that they're going to have a tight squeeze in the next couple of years trying to fit everybody in there. It's going to be hard to keep everyone. Ryan Strom is in the last year of his contract. He's about to become a UFA and he's been really good. 
Capo Caco or whatever the hell his name is is an RFA after this year. Lafreniere, who we talked about just last week, is going to be an RFA after next season. And I mean, they've already got Kreider, Zibanejad, Panarin, and Truba, and Fox locked up to some pretty heavy-ass contracts. Holy shit. Even a guy like Ryan Reeves is making nearly a couple million bucks over there for this season and next. So eventually, something's going to give over there. They're going to have to part ways with somebody that the fan base probably doesn't want to part ways with. So, what I want you to do is take a look at the New York Rangers right now and tell me how much your asking price would be for your turkey, Lekkonen. But always remember, this guy scored arguably the biggest goal in years, sending the Montreal Canadiens to the Stanley Cup Finals. Remember that? God, it feels so long ago now. But if Lekkonen is gone at the deadline, this is the one goal that will always come to mind whenever I hear my wife say, should we cook a turkey this week? Anyway, guys, that does it for this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the dirty-ass comment section. And hey, I'll see you next time.